Kia ora koutou. You're listening to Arrow FM, your community access radio station. That's right. Ke te mai koutou ki Isolation Blues. Isolation Blues is an occasional program uh, that stops me going mad here in uh, lockdown. Um, I sit at my desk writing reports and all sorts of stuff and every so often I get bored so I come in here and interrupt your pleasure to prattle on. Um, just to let you know, this is a bit of an experiment because we hope to be sending this video to our Facebook page. Um, normally it would go to our webpage, which it does, and the audio would go as a podcast to our webpage. We stream live on the internet from our webpage. We go out via radio on 92.7 FM and we also go out live on Wairarapa Television, Freeview Channel 41. So there are lots and lots of ways that you can you can get us. Now, I said, look, during lockdown, I might get a bit bored. I know it's level three now where we are, but there are still fairly solid restrictions in place. And we here are being a little more restrictive. I'm just saying for the meantime, we won't have people coming in to do their programs live we just want to see how the lockdown situation is going whether there's any further spread of the pandemic in our region and meanwhile that means that uh, program makers can either record their programs which they're doing with marina especially down the south or they can zoom them in to me here at the station but we'll be back to normal fairly soon so it's an interesting time, isn't it? What have you been doing to keep your mind and your body going during lockdown? Well, as long as you wear your masks, you can go out. Wide berth when you meet other people. It's not impolite. It's called being safe. Uh, so get your exercise. Take the dog for a walk. Um, and your mind. Read books. I read books, um, and because I'm getting on a bit, and when people say, tell me about that book you read, I can say, it was really good, but can I give you the details? It tends to disappear. So I've taken to writing them down. You know, not exactly a review, but I've, I've done that about a book that I was reading recently. Yeah, it's about, oh, I've written it down because it's more dependable. This book uh, is about people who've experienced death, well, nearly experienced it, like they nearly died, or they thought they'd died, or their hearts stopped beating for a while, and then they were pulled back from out of the jaws of death. Well, these people told what it was like to be dead, and how when they thought they were going to die, their whole lives flashed in front of their eyes. Well, I had a few questions that the book really didn't address, like, if you were short-sighted and your glasses fell off just before you thought you were going to die, would you have any trouble seeing your life flash before your eyes? And how about if you took somebody's place on an aeroplane that crashed or something, would you see your whole life flash through your, your in front of your eyes, or would you see theirs instead? Another thing is, a lot of, a lot of people seem to have fallen off mountains, these ones who report near-death experiences. And they've gone skydiving or something in there parachutes haven't opened right and they see their lives flash in front of their eyes as they fall hundreds of meters to the ground and then they land on something soft or just the nature of it they only sprain their ankle or break their nose okay so that's how they get these insights but what if you go bungee jumping and you suddenly fear for your life you really think it's going to happen do you see your life flash in front of your eyes and then you reach the end of the bungee and you go flying back up do you see your whole life fly backwards then and then forwards and then backwards and forwards again makes you think hey what say you've got a bad memory for names and your whole life is flashing by and you see someone from your past and you go, oh yeah, that's, um, oh, what's it, oh, get it, and then poof, you hit the deck. Well, it's okay if you don't die because you've got heaps of time in hospital to work it out, but it's a real pain if you get the chop, you know, permanently because you miss out on seeing the whole thing. 
what about if you haven't got that much time? Like if a wild animal, say, is tearing your limb from limb and you're only up to standard two, uh, what's that, year four or something, can you, like, fast forward over the boring bits? Well, what if it's all boring? Maybe it got so boring it might put you to sleep and then you'd have a painless death. That'd be cool. Or maybe the lion or whatever was tearing your limb for a limb might think, yep, he's dead, and stash you under a tree for a bit while it went off to take out a couple of antelopes. And then you'd recover and run away before it got back. Except if your life was that boring. I don't know. Anyway, I've finished the book. I'm reading a comic now. <laughs>